In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can use HTTP request default element in Jmeter. So first of all, let me try to uh, explain the benefit of HTTP request defaults. So the reason why this element has been there is that this allows you to set the default values for some of the parameters of the request. So if any you send the HTTP request, you have to specify the server name, protocol, port number, path, then content encoding, parameters and body data. So all these details you have to set. But most of the times what happens is that some data or the some parameters are static. For example, you want to test specific server, for example, example.org. Okay. And the port number is also fixed. Protocol is also fixed. So in that case, what you can do is that instead of setting these values for all the requests, you can specify these values in this element, HTTP request defaults. And then what happens is that all the samplers, you can see the sampler here, HTTP sampler or HTTP request. So when uh, Jmeter sends this request to the server, you can see the server name is not mentioned here, protocol, port number, nothing is mentioned. So how does Jmeter gets this information? So Jmeter gets this information from the HTTP request defaults element. So what it does is that it goes here and then checks that, okay, server name is empty. Then uh, it goes to the HTTP request defaults and then uh, checks if server name is mentioned here. Yeah, it is mentioned. So it will take that server name, come back here and then <laughs> send the request to that particular server. So that is how HTTP request defaults are used. Now here there is just one HTTP request, but just imagine there are 100 HTTP requests that you want to send and all the requests have to be sent to the same server. So instead of specifying that server name here for each request 100 times, what we are doing is we are setting that information here and then all the 100 requests will refer to this element to get the server name. So as you can see, this is very convenient because you don't have to specify that data in all the requests. So let us say you want to change that server name. You can do it very easily. Just go here and then change at one place instead of changing at 100 places. So that is the main benefit of this HTTP request defaults element. I use it very frequently and it is very, very useful element when you are trying to use uh, this in your JMeter scripts. If you have more questions, let me know through the comments. Thanks for watching this video.